I'm going to explain you how to transfer every new subscriber automatically to your MailChimp list. We're going to do this with an extra plugin on WordPress and I'm going to make sure that I, sp I will explain you step by step how to do this. So first we're going to plugins and as you can see I already installed Contact Form 7. If you haven't, just install it and I will show you how to make a new contact form. And then we have to install the second contact form uh, plugin and that's this one. So when you click on add new, type in CF7 for contact form 7 and then MailChimp, it would come up over here and it's the one you want to install. So now well, after you've made it active, you can go to contact form 7 and that's uh, this contact form 7 it should this uh, it should appear on your um, bar on the left side when you have made it active and then I will show you how to make a new contact form so you should click on add new and well this is already a good contact form and well everything is great and then you have here MailChimp so well this is kind of how you make a new uh, co uh, contact form. You just enter uh, a name, a title, and click on save. But this is not how I'm going to show it to you because this is an extension to my other video. And that was where I showed you how to make um, a pop-up form, uh, a, a, a subscriber form into your pop-up. So this, that's, uh, it was this one, and I want to, integrated with MailChimp. So this appeared in my contact form, MailChimp, and here we have to put our MailChimp API, API key. So go to Google, type in MailChimp, and click on the first link. And now if you don't have a MailChimp account yet, uh, sign up. And if you do have, like me, I'm just going to log in. And I get a pop-up here as well. And what the, as the first thing we want to do is make an audience. So I already have an audience. I view, well, it's uh, this one, Firewalls Online. It has zero contacts and zero subscribers. Uh, if you don't have one, make sure you make, uh, make a new one. Okay, so well, you can create one with a bot uh, with a button over here. After you have created your first audience, <coughs> it's pretty easy, so you can do it easily by yourself. Um, you should go to account, and we have to find the API keys and then these extras. And over here, you find the API key. This is necessary for the integration. So I paste it and connect and fetch your mailing list. The API key is green right now. And here, these are all your MailChimp lists. And I just made one of, well, I already had one, you just made one, and it should appear over here. So click the right one, I only have one, so it's not that hard. And here they will, here you have to put your um, well, there, there are two variables, uh, your email and name. So, because in my form, I ask for the name and for the email. As you can see, these are the variable names, your email, your name. I can find them in MailChimp and these are the uh, two variables that has to be sent to my MailChimp mailing list. So yeah, just select this one. Yeah, it's already selected, so you don't have to do uh, that much with this. Just make sure that the variables are right, but that goes out automatically. And afterwards, save it. And now I will go to my website. Here's my pop-up coming up, and I will submit the form, agree on terms and conditions, send it, and after two seconds it will disappear. And now I'm going to watch if my um, 
if my new subscriber is added to my audience and this can take some time so um, I will cut it between now and the moment I have my new subscriber mm. and as you can see right now my mailing list grew from zero contacts to one contact and and so my um, integration works if it doesn't work in uh, in your case, let me know underneath the video and I'm going to try to help you. In my next video, I'm going to explain you how to track pop-up forms um, with Google Analytics. So I hope to see you in my next video and good luck with the, the integration.